Welcome everyone to this video and in this video I want to make a photo but I need a specific background for that. Now I was going to use a cookie sheet because I saw that in a video and I want to do that but my cookie sheet still looks kind of new. Uh, I've been working on it to maybe do it in the future but right now I can't do it. So I want to make a video about what I'm doing and that is making a background. So how am I going to actually do this? Well um, if you saw a post, a post on Twitter is I'm basically using cardboard that I got from Amazon and duct tape. Now with this duct tape, I was looking for a specific type, tube safe types, and I did found find them, which I was lucky at finding these at Walmart. I think these will make great uses for a background. Um, this one is a wood kind of look to it, so it looks wood. And this one, I was going to use silver, but this copper caught my eye a little better, so we'll use copper. Um, these weren't that expensive. They were $2.50 each, so $5 for two of these. Um, I'm just going to have to think of a way to connect them to this and make these bigger. That's the idea. Um, so I'm going to turn this camera around and start working on that. Uh, so yeah, um, let's get to it. I did uh, just take duct tape back here and duct tape this. Now it's pretty sturdy the way it is, but I might add a little reinforcement in the back, which I have some little metal stuff I can put here back here so to help it um, stay a little sturdy. But I think it didn't, I think it turned out pretty good for what it is basically duct tape. I do have to kind of maybe clean up the edges a little bit, but yeah, I think this will do pretty fine. Um, I'm gonna go finish up the rest of them and I'll show you guys what they look like after that. So I'll see you guys in a second. Well, oh, I just finished doing it. I'm sorry I didn't um, time lapse the whole thing. It's just been too long. It would took me about 30 minutes to do all of it. But here is the final product. Here's the copper and here's the wood. Now, what we finding out this is the wood is a little more forgiving than the copper because copper you can pretty much see almost all the air bubbles that I didn't get in the seam here. You can see both of them but I think they turn out very well for what it is. This duct tape and um, cardboard to make a inexpensive um, background. Now, like I said, this all cost me about five dollars. The um, the duct tape I used back here, which is old, I had so I was free. The cardboard from old Amazon boxes, I was free. So all it cost were the two duct tapes. Which be careful with these; they do rip a little easier than normal duct tape. Yeah, I used pretty much the whole roll of both of these. And for stability. I added on the wood one some metal here, but after doing that, I realized that you don't need to do that. Um, a couple ways to do it if you want, you can just use some extra cardboard on the sides here, or a get a cardboard that's one long big piece, or you can just use the duct tape. That I found that works just as well, just having duct tape in this configuration to give it a little more stability when you're holding it up. But overall, I'm very happy with the way it turned out, and I can't wait to see what it looks like when I actually am done. I'm using these for um, shoots. Now these are mainly for like small stuff, not like big shoots. So that was just me creating some cheap backgrounds for photography. I hope you guys enjoyed this little process and I hope it gives you some ideas how to use duct tape and creating stuff for yourself. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button down below. Also, you can follow me on my Twitter and Instagram page where I post everything there. Again, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.